G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here and welcome to this edition, which I think is going to be a very interesting one for you and it is going to be centered around Microsoft Lists and being able to redirect a user to a different page or location after they submit an item to your list. So ordinarily, what users do is when they create a new item and they hit submit, then they're just taken directly back to the list itself. But what if you wanna direct the users to a different location after after they submit an item not to the actual list. That's what we're going to have a look at today. We're gonna to create a uh, special link uh, and then we're going to use that to direct users to fill out the form and then redirect them. So let's dive in and have a look at how we set things up. So we can see here, I'm just on a SharePoint communication site. Now I've already created a list that we call the work progress tracker, just based on the Microsoft out of the box list template and it's a blank list and we've had no customization on this list. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to copy the URL of the new form. So I'm going to hit the new button here and the first thing we're going to do is just copy this link. All right, so we'll copy this link like so, and then all I'm going to do is add that to a, um, a, a notepad and we'll have a look at uh, what that looks like. And it's a really long URL, so I'll drag this across here. We can see that we've got this format here. All right. G'day there, Daniel here. Sorry to interrupt. Hope you are enjoying the edition. Now, just a quick shout out to today's video sponsor. Uh, today's video is brought to you by TeamFlect. Now, TeamFlect is an all-in-one performance management software designed specifically for Microsoft Teams. Now, users of TeamFlect can create and track tasks, manage goals and OKRs, practice 360-degree feedback, conduct entire performance review cycles as well. And you can do so much more with TeamFlect without ever having to leave Microsoft Teams. And the best part is TeamFlect is completely free with full functionality for up to 10 users. Not just a, a TeamFlect Lite edition, not a limited trial period, free with full functionality. So you can demo it with a small team for as long as you want. And if you like, then you can even decide to invest in it. So today's video is brought to you by TeamFlect. All right, now the, the, the part that we need to focus on here is this source part here. So you can see the ampersand and we've got source equals this long string here. All right, and we're all the way up to the next ampersand. So let's say that we want to redirect a user back to the home page of this particular site. So what we're gonna do is we're going to delete everything after the equals sign up to the, amp the next ampersand, we'll delete that. And then we're just going to enter in the URL that we want to direct the users back to when they fill out this, uh, fill out this form. So I'm just gonna drag this back across here and I'll grab and I'll go back to the homepage of our site, which is Global Sales. I'll copy the URL of this site and then I'm going to paste that after the equal sign. We'll paste that in there and you can see that we've got that URL in. Now I'm now going to copy all of this URL and I'm gonna create a new link in the navigation, all right? So I'm gonna edit this navigation here and what we will do is we will go new link, we'll paste the new address in, we'll paste the address in here and the display name, um, add an item to the list and we'll click OK and we'll save that. Now we've got this item here, we've got a link, we've got a navigation, we'll click this link. We're now taken to that new item form in full page view and then I can then fill out this form or the user can fill out this form and we can say, uh, let's go work item, uh, fix OneDrive sync. And we can continue on here. Let's just pop in a couple of uh, bits of metadata here. Um, and we will now hit the save button. Now, what you'll notice is that when we hit save, we are now taken directly back to that homepage. Um, and that is the URL that we pasted in the source part of the, the URL. So I'll just drag this back across. And this source here is where the user is directly uh, taken back to after they submit. All right, so just a little bit of a hack there uh, if you want to uh, change the experience when a user fills out a list item, hit submit, we can actually redirect them to a different location other than the list itself. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next edition.